What's going on everyone? What I'm about to do is take a trip down to uh, Washington, D.C. I'm not too sure if I'm going to drive my truck. I don't know. Recently drove my truck down to uh, Pennsylvania. Truck drive is fine. It's just, just <laughs> uh, gas. So, considering driving my car, but I got an issue with my car of which my exhaust is basically just dangling so i have this uh chicken wire also known as mechanical wire which is also known in the store as utility wire so that way we can hang the muffler back up the permanent ways to take it to the exhaust shop and have them just uh recreate the hangers the exhaust hangers uh, for the mufflers to, you know, stay propped up. That will give you guys an example of the issue that I'm experiencing. All right, so this is Deluxe IS 250. It's a beautiful day to drive this bad boy. AC runs real good, but the issue is that's the problem. As you can see, this exhaust hanger rusted out on both ends. Yeah, she uh, <laughs> she dropped. So, what I'm going to do is see if I can use this utility wire and temporarily get it to hold up. Uh, for the time being until I'm able to take it to an exhaust shop and basically they'll find, you know, some other uh, way to keep this muffler held up. But for the time being, this will work. Uh, again, um, some stores, they call it chicken wire. Some stores, they call it mechanical wire. Uh, but, you know, manufacturers, they're going to call it utility wire. Again, this is not a permanent solution this is a temporary fix just so that way we can get this muffler back up underneath there held on tight and that way i can keep on enjoying my ride until i'm able to take it to the shop We got the car up on a rat. Now, typically what I usually do is I'll put some jack stands on here too. So that way we can keep it nice and secure, uh, especially when I'm underneath the vehicle. Safety first, or you can use a jack, jack it up and do the same thing. When I was trying to get the actual stands, the vehicle stands on, uh, I had a little issue here because uh, this exhaust is basically hanging low. So I had to basically prop it up in order to get that underneath. That's what I had to usually typically do. Um, I've been using these things for quite a while, so I, I know exactly how to eye it out and where to install it. But uh, she's on there. She is on there. Good, that's good but you could definitely see exactly uh which uh how that one's hanging which is perfect <laughs> that one is just uh that's ridiculous
Hmm. Let's see. This height might be a little bit too much. Uh, she's good. Let me try to get these hangers off first. Definitely use your gloves because this stuff right here is sharp. Yeah, stuff is really sharp. Last thing you want to do is get a, a rusty cut. Just compare it with the other one. There we go. That's about it. Perfect. Now I just need to find a spot to uh, tie it up. All right, guys. So I found a little. It's like a uh, screw that's poking out here. So what I'm gonna do is take this wire, and I'm going to those two hooks that's on this muffler. I'm basically going to conjoin them to one. And I'm going to hang it off of here. I'm going to do it nice and tight. So that way, if we hit a bump, it's not going to come loose. It's a frame. Then I'm going to take the wire, loop it through. And then just wrap it around the two hooks on the muffler and that should at least hold it for the time being all right let's take a look uh, and uh just to give you guys an update i actually found this galvanized wire uh which i purchased from home depot it's twice twice the size as this wire that i found from uh that i got from the auto parts store just look at that. Can't really tell on the camera, but this is definitely a thick, thicker wire. So I'm gonna use this to, you know, at the end to kind of help uh, wrap around these two hooks. But uh, basically, <clears throat> I took this galvanized wire and I ran it up through the frame see that that's basically uh the bumper that's attached to the bumper bumper frame and it basically looped all the way through there to here and i brought it down which is going to wrap around the muffler hooks that hook over there that hook over there and i'm gonna just pull it after I got it all wrapped around, pull it tight, take my pliers and tighten it up even more and then uh, get the jack down. So yeah, that's one way of doing it. So that way it could be tightened up up here. <clears throat> this is the other side. As you can see, it's going to experience the same thing because it's, uh, it's quite rusted. So, I give it another look at that bracket right there. The bracket itself, it can be replaced because it's a bolt right there. All right, guys, here's our final test. Just an FYI, that LED light is not blinking, it's just Recording an actual LED that's on it makes it seems like it's flickering, but it's not. But anyway, as you can see, the jack is down. Exhaust is holding. Oh, yeah, she's on it, baby. She might rattle. She might do a little rattling. 
But she's on there, baby. And this one is, I need some adjustments. Will that move? Yeah, that moves too. Hmm. I'll move. Hmm. If I do recall, when I actually bought this vehicle, the exhaust was kind of tucked up. Um, that I had to actually use a cloth to kind of clean the tips. It wasn't like very accessible like this. So that's telling me that this side is coming down too. And we already seen it that it's rusted. So that confirms it. Uh, these exhaust tips, they get warm. They don't get extremely hot. So I'll keep an eye on that. If it becomes like a problem that plastic here is, you know, warm. Nothing's actually touching it. But, you know, as I said before, if it becomes like this is warm, then I'll lower it. But uh, right now it's working. She's working. Got this fan on here. Uh, it's definitely helped uh, keeping these bugs away from me. These nets, mosquitoes, and flies. Everything's trying to have a field day with me. All right, so what we're looking at is the driver's side rear muffler. And as previously stated, I took our galvanized wire and I went up through here, kind of back down. So I went up over, through, down, and I attached to that hook over there, okay? And then I uh, basically attached it to here, and I kind of pulled this galvanized wire down a little bit to tighten it up so that way we, we can get this muffler to be up a little bit more instead of you know closer to the ground and that way it allowed me to have clearance now I have it wrapped up really nice and tight so that way when we hit bumps and stuff it won't just you know easily be able to untie itself it's going to take some force to uh, let me get my hand adjusted. It's going to take some force to get this wire to unravel from both sides and also in the middle. So it's raveled up on, it's well, it's wrapped around the left and right side of this post. And it's also wrapped in the middle. So it's it's got three, three, uh, three wraps, three wraps going on there. So, uh, yeah, she's good. She's good. I'm go actually going to potentially do the same thing up here. Uh, wrap this up, you know, tack it up first and then wrap it up in. So that way we can get this nice and tight because uh, there's only the amount of time that this actually rusts out uh, on the next bump and this exhaust would just be dangling down too and I'm gonna be forced to do the same thing so I might as well knock it out now. Let's see, we got some cicadas right there. Some dead cicadas. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and knock this side out too and I'll get back with you guys. So uh, definitely, if you're outside working and you got, you know, nets, uh, mosquitoes, flies that continuously attack you, um, get yourself a nice uh, fan, little mop fan and uh just bring it outside and let it blow in here i did this side as well and as you can see pretty decent pretty darn decent this is basically a uh, good way to get your exhaust back up off the ground let's go ahead and uh start her up and see exactly how well she <laughs> how well she holds <laughs>
All right, so before my phone dies, as you guys can see, she is good. Just look at that. <laughs> yes, sir. Now I am ready to take this bad boy down to DC and enjoy. Yes, sir. I'm ready, baby. Ah, I just love it. Now, I, I commonly drive my truck commonly drive my uh, tundra this was supposed to be the daily driver but you know things happen you get new toys you know you switch it up but uh yeah um the problem with driving to, like downtown places like downtown dc baltimore etc is parking for trucks oh gosh so you gotta you gotta find something like you gotta get yourself a car so that way you can easily be able to park it and uh let's just hope that uh wherever we park it it's it's oh let's just hope she's safe because you know you do have some people that don't know how to parallel park i try to tell you guys you got some people that don't know how to parallel park and from what i understand nowadays uh, parallel parking is not a requirement for a driving test so Ooh, lord let's see what happens but uh i'm gonna go ahead and pick up my junk and uh head down the road so don't forget guys to like comment and subscribe to my channel See you guys later. Peace. Tay, DC, they know how to party, baby. They got the street. The street lit up. This man on the corner, he got all the fireworks. God damn. He about to light it back up again. It's absolutely gorgeous down here. Gorgeous down in DC, baby. All right, let me figure out how to get home. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, you're gonna walk away from that one, brother. I <laughs> uh, got the cops right there, too. Yeah, he gonna walk away from that one. <laughs> Golly. Only in DC, baby. Only in DC.